Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about the book Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. This is a novel that follows two characters, um, Eleanor and Park, hence the name of the novel, uh, and their uh, journey throughout uh, one of their years of high school. Eleanor moves to the community. She's new in town, and we learn from her past uh, that she didn't really have a good life. Uh, she was kicked out of her house by her stepfather and has been removed from her family for about a year, and then she finally comes back to them. So she's trying to figure out uh, how to fit back in with the family, how to not get in trouble again, and how to just live her life in peace. She meets Park on the school bus one day, and they don't talk to each other for a while, but then um, they start to connect over music and comic books, and then the two of them develop a relationship and taking care of each other and supporting one another uh, and just trying to make it through their lives together for this year. Um, we have the story told from two perspectives, so we have it uh, go back and forth between Eleanor's perspective and Park. So if you like switching perspectives and points of view, if you like um, real life, realistic fiction stories, this would be a great one to pick up. Uh, I want to read you just the beginning of one of Eleanor's chapters where she's talking about her options uh, of whether or not to take the bus. Number one, she could walk home from school. Pros, exercise, color in her cheeks, time to herself. Cons, she didn't know her new address yet or even the general direction to start walking. Number two, she could call her mom and ask for a ride. Pros, lots. Cons, her mom didn't have a phone or a car. Number three, she could call her dad. Ha. Number four, she could call her grandma just to say hi. She was sitting on the concrete steps at the front of the school, staring out the window at the row of yellow buses. Her bus was right there, number 666. Even if Eleanor could avoid the bus today, even if her fairy godmother showed up with a pumpkin carriage, She'd still have to find a way to get back to school tomorrow morning. So that is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I recommend it as your next read.